in this problem, we have a person who has a uh, mass of 81 kilograms riding a Ferris wheel, a circular ride, a vertical circle. The Ferris wheel has a diameter of 24 meters and it completes one revolution every 21 seconds. We would like to know the value of the normal force when the person is at the top of the Ferris wheel and then in part B the uh, normal force when the person's at the bottom. So this is a problem in uniform circular motion. In uniform circular motion the net force is towards the center of the circle. So the normal force combined with the weight will produce a force towards the center. So mg is going to be bigger than the normal force at the top. At the bottom of the ride the normal force will be larger than mg and the net force will again point towards the center of the circle. So we need to do a few side calculations, um, at least one side calculation before we can firmly get started. We really do need to know what is the speed of the person going around the ride. We need this in order to calculate the centripetal acceleration. The centripetal acceleration is v squared divided by r. So we can take advantage of the distance over time. It completes one revolution. 2 pi r would be the distance in the time of uh, this case 21 seconds. So if we put in these numbers, so 2 pi, the diameter is 24 meters, so the radius is 12 meters, and 21 seconds. You should do this calculation on your own, but hopefully you'll come up with 3.59 meters per second. That's the speed of going around the circle. Um, the velocity is tangent to the circle in uniform circular motion, but we really just need the speed here. So how do we proceed? Well, we use Newton's second law. At the top of the ride, I'm going to let up be the positive direction. At the top of the ride then we have our unknown normal force. Mg is in the negative direction and Ma, the A is V squared over R. So this is net force equals Ma, Newton's second law, and Fn is our only unknown here. So let's, uh, let's proceed, put in some numbers. So Fn minus 81 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared equals 81 kilograms. 3.59 meters per second is our speed. And we have to divide by our radius, 12 meters. Is it allowed to cancel 81 kilograms and 81 kilograms? They appear on both sides. The answer is no. The, we do not have 81 kilograms on this term. You're only allowed to cancel when you have the same number in all, in this case, three terms, but in every term of the equation. So do not cancel the 81 as you do this calculation. Um, and the other question I'd ask is, what I have on the right side correct or not? Is this correct or not? Notice I chose up to be the positive direction. Over here we have uh, a centripetal acceleration. The centripetal acceleration at the top, the centripetal acceleration is in the down direction. So I need to squeeze in a negative here. This MA on the right side is a negative quantity. The acceleration is a negative number. I can't just put a negative on the 3.59, that quantity is squared. The negative is for v squared over r, the centripetal acceleration. So almost uh, forgot that. Make sure you don't forget it when you're working this type of problem. Oh, a little bit further here, Fn and 81 and 9.8 give us 793.8 newtons. Over here, minus 81 times 3.59 squared divided by 12. And I got roughly minus 87.01 newtons. 
Again, you should check this on your own. I have to add 793.8 to both sides. At the top, the normal force of the seat pushing upward on the person then is uh, 707 newtons. Could this be reasonable? Yes, the person's weight is 793.8. That needs to be the dominant force. The upward uh, normal force is 707. That's less than the weight. That will create a net force towards the center of the circle. Well, very similar calculation at the bottom. What do you think changes in what we set up here at the bottom? Uh, I'd have Fn minus mg equals mv squared over r. And this time, the acceleration is positive. The acceleration is upward in the positive direction. Um, so I probably should have put minus even on the writing out in symbols as the acceleration is in the negative direction. But this time, the acceleration is positive. So similar numbers. Put in the mass of 81 point kilograms. That does not change at the bottom of the ride. And now I'm using the same numbers here, mv squared over r. So, but now I have plus 87.01 newtons. Add the 793.8 to both sides. So at the bottom of the ride, the normal force is rounding off here. I believe 881 newtons. Again, reasonable. The normal force now needs to be bigger than mg so that the net force will be towards the center of the circle and the person uh, does experience uniform circular motion with the uh, centripetal acceleration directed towards the center. Um, sorry, I think I was off the screen here. But at the bottom, Fn minus mg is plus mv squared over r. Same numbers we had before the weight. The mv squared over r now is a positive because the centripetal acceleration is upward. Our normal force is 881, bigger than the weight as it needs to be. So ask your instructor if you have uh, questions on this and keep practicing.